Hey guys, it's Becca. Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to be doing the Team Project Pan update. I do have the creators listed down below. Check out the hashtag for this one if you would like to see others doing the same project. The way I've been doing this one is I have it as a rolling 10 pan. I have 10 items at a time. I try to have different categories of products. I try to have, for the most part, full-size products and the goal for everything in this project for me is to finish them. If you're interested in seeing how I've been doing, then just keep on watching. So as I usually do with my project pans, I talk about the products that have been in for the longest and then I get towards the ones that have been rolled in more recently. So I usually have the hardest projects are the ones that I'm talking about first. This one here is my first product. I have been working on this one since the beginning of the year. I have been taking weights and I have been taking pictures, so I'll go ahead and share you with you what that looks like. And I do, throughout my projects, keep a running total of the uses somewhere on the screen where I will have how many times I used it this month as well as the total number of uses and hopefully the number of grams and stuff like that. But I'll just show you what this one has been looking like. Here is what we are like now. I think this one is really funny because it looks kind of like a little smiley face now. I have this big pan down here and these two little eyeballs. So this one kind of makes me smile when I use it. I have not been using this one as consistently this past month because I have been working through using the what is it called? <sighs> waffle? Something about waffle? Belgian waffle. BH Cosmetics Belgian waffle face palette. It's got a bunch of bronzers in that, so I shop my stash for that, so I've been using that a bit more. Hopefully I'll get back into using this one. I don't like this one any less than I did before. I just was distracted. So we have made some progress. Not a lot. Hopefully I'll get back to it, and we are still miles away from the finish line on this one. However, with my second product, which has also been in here since the beginning of the project, though I think I did lose it for a while and had to roll it out and then roll it back in when I found it again, this one here, the Burt's Bees Lip Butter in the shade scent, whatever you want to call it, lavender and honey. I have been taking pictures and weights of this one. And I know I was hoping that I could maybe get really close to finishing this one this time. And look what I have done. I did finish this one. It is all scraped out, all cleaned out. Very proud of myself for finishing this one. I do not plan on repurchasing this. I was interested in some of the other scents of this same kind of lip butter because I really liked the consistency of it, how nourishing it was. But I do not like the scent of lavender, especially near my mouth and my nose. So... Maybe one of these times I'll get a different one, but this one is done and I'm very, very proud of myself. Product number three is this Shop Miss A AOA Studio Pro Wear Foundation. There's nothing really to show you, but I have been taking the weights so I can show you the progression of the weight. And this one I do store upside down. And at this point we are getting to where I have to like shake it a little bit in order to be able to squeeze some more out. So I think we're getting kind of close. It still feels like there's some in here. Probably have another couple of months left, but I'm very excited. I think I'll have a couple of foundation empties soon-ish because I don't use this one by itself. Like it's kind of, I feel like it's too yellow or something is off about the undertone. So I mix it with some other stuff plus the um, highlighter from my Partners in Cream. So I mix it with a bunch of stuff so it doesn't move very fast, but it is moving and I think I'm going to have several foundation type empties all at the same time or around the same time. So that's kind of exciting. I do use it every day, just small, small amounts. Next product that I have is also an empty, so I'm very excited to share that one with you. So we have this here, the Dr. Prant Luminizer Primer Pores No More I used this another handful of times. I think more than I thought I was going to get out of it. Yes, 17 more times. I thought I only had like a couple of days. So I used it quite a few more times and now it is done. Very excited about that. My 
primer collection is starting to get to look very, very nice at this point as far as the numbers are getting down and I'm not continually adding to it. So I'm very happy with that. Probably gonna go ahead and just roll in the next primer into this project pan because I don't think I have any primers in projects at all right now. So yeah, I think we're gonna be replacing this with a primer, but I will show you which one at the end. Next product that I have is the AOA Studio Perfect Finishing Pressed Powder. I have been weighing it and taking pictures of it, so I'll go ahead and show you how this one has been looking. Here's what it looks like now. I do have a close-up photo so that you can see with this one. I'll put that up afterwards because it's always glare, glares everything out. But I think you can see that the pan is expanding. That little starburst shape is kind of filling out. And I have been using this one fairly consistently as, of course, a finishing step where I've done everything else and then I just take my little powder brush and da 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 and kind of finish finish it off. So I can't really use it faster than I have been. I'll just try to remember to use it every day because if I use it more days, this one will be a while, but we are making good progress. So hopefully in the next several months, this one should be done. I don't, I don't know how long it'll take. It's been pretty slow so far. Next product that I have is another finishing type product. At least that's the way I use it. It is the Physician's Formula Butter Brush, Butter Blush. Why is that so hard to say? Physician's Formula Butter Blush. I have had it in now for two to three months now, I think. I'll go ahead and show you the progress of the pictures and the weights and everything. Here is what this one looks like. I'm not sure if you can even tell if this looks any different. I think some of the design is a little bit flatter. I use this kind of as a finishing step as well. Like I finished all of my blush bronzer highlighter steps and then I kind of dab my blush brush into here and kind of swirl it on there a little bit, give it a little bit of a glow, meld it all together to give it like bring some of the shine back after the finishing powder, but I don't use a ton of it, just very, very sparingly but I do use it quite frequently. I'll have hopefully the uses up somewhere, but there are lots of days that I forget to use this one, so it's not as consistent as some of the other products. The next product that I have is the e.l.f. Sheer Slick Lipstick. I have, I think I've been weighing this one, so if I have, I'll go ahead and show you with the weights. And this one here, I am very excited to announce. Uh, I guess it's officially done because I just twisted it and it fell apart. I have been digging out the last little bits because it won't twist up anymore. I've been digging out the last little bits so that I can just use it as a cream blush. So I probably will continue to finish that little bit here just outside of the project because I would like to roll something new in. So I think I'm safe in calling that finished. That's just that little bit left in there. And here is... The progress that was the first month this is the second month here very excited to have a lipstick finish and the next product is another lip product but they are all different categories as you will have noticed i had a lip butter i had a lipstick and now i have a lip oil this one is the ulta tinted juice infused lip oil i think i've been weighing it so i'll just go ahead and show you that And here is what this one looks like now. I'm sure you can see a ton of windowing in here. It's still going strong. Like I pull it out and there's product on it. So I'm gonna keep using it. This one's got at least another month in there, but I will be very surprised if it is not done by the next update. So that is my goal is to finish this one for sure. And the last product in this project pan is a two for one deal. I have a double-sided eyeliner. Um, I have been marking this one on a paper somewhere. Let me see if I can find that. Here we go. I've used the black side of the eyeliner only three times, so I'm not that impressed. I have been working on a different eyeliner and a different project though, but the brown eyeliner I have been working on quite nicely. I've, been, I've used that one 16 times and had to sharpen it a few times. So here is where we are at. This is the brown side and then the black. You can see like I drew a little bit of green because I used a little bit, but barely enough to even notice. So I have a feeling that we will be sharpening down the brown side all the way, which will mean I can't use as much of the black because it'll be so small. And I'm okay with that. I have plenty of black eyeliners. So there's that. So as far as a recap, I have three items rolling out of the project. I have this empty primer. I have this empty lip butter. I have this for all intents and purposes 
I am Dee Lipstick, so I'll be rolling three new products in. As far as goals and predictions, I want to continue to expand this pan. I know sometimes when we get to the end of a powder product, everything is so thin that it moves very fast. So that could be the case, fingers crossed. I could get lucky and this could finish by the next time because I really don't know how much is in here and I do have to like shake it and squeeze it real good for anything to come out. But as far as one that I really do think will be um, finished by the next update is this is the only one. I'm pretty sure this will be done and I'll probably be disappointed if it's not. So before we head over to the tackle box full of items that I would like to project pan this year, I'm just going to go ahead and grab the first item that I would like to pan is right off of my vanity because I'm already working on it. And it is this Wet n Wild Rose Primer Serum. I do use this every day already, but I've been using it for a few months now and I thought it would be fun to start tracking it. I use like three or four drops um, as a primer first every day and then just kind of put everything else on top of it. I have really been liking it and I just, yeah, I think it'd be fun to start marking that and tracking that one. So that is the first item and we're going to go find some items to bring into the project from the tackle box. So here is the original tackle box that I started with this year and there are several products in here still several more than several but it doesn't look like there's anything that I can really pull in this time just because I don't really want to work on these shades of liquid lipstick right now I am working on a liquid highlighter and another project already I've got lots of foundations in here but I'm already working on one of those already working on a powder already working on a blush and then there's these bronzers but I've got too many bronzers in projects so we're not going to be working from this box so we're going to go to the secondary box here and we have a lot of other little items added in here I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually pull in this little peach lip jelly from Ulta and I think that would be a fun kind of replacement for the lip butter that I just finished from Burt's Bees so that's one product and then I did finish what was it a lip a lipstick here so maybe I can find another lipstick that I can add in oh geez these look like a lot of challenging products in here let's see so maybe maybe this one here it's kind of a lip balm I don't know that's too close to a lip butter or a lip jelly so maybe here we go here's a lipstick it's kind of <laughs> looking gross definitely needs to get finished this is the shop miss a AOA studio we have a lot of AOA studio going on right now bliss is the shade here so I think this is the one I'm going to start working on Anyway, now. so that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are staying healthy and safe and in good spirits. And I hope I see you guys in the next one. Bye.